Hey guys, what's going on? Today we got a quick news update for both the global side and the JP side of Dokkan Battle. So, shout out to the Reddit, shout out to Twitter, shout out to Dokkan, uh, dbz.space, uh, and that's not, not actually Twitter, uh, I guess Krusty Leaks from Twitter. So, uh, shout out to all of you guys. But before we go on this, I wanted to let you guys know, I ended up going on to the... Um, uh, the actual Dokkan Battle World Tournament and trying to play. Uh, I literally, last night at 1.59 a.m. and with like 30 seconds left EST, when there's only 30 seconds left of the World Tournament, completed my last round of, um, of the World Tournament. I finished the final and I got myself 41,929,667 points. Now, I didn't update over here. I do not know if I was able to complete it, but as of the last time that this had updated, the the one the 10,000 mark where you are actually get your first super trunks was at 416,000. So I had about 250,000 about um, higher than the 10,000th place person. I'm really hoping that I was able to beat it enough to just sneak by the 10,000 mark under 10,000. So we'll find out. I'll let you guys know if I was able to beat it. Honestly, I was really pissed off. Like I was, I was on lunch break at work, and I was like, I should probably just do one because I'm gonna be really pissed off if I don't do one, and then I lose by like one full round of world tournament. I never did it, and I should have. And now I'm actually mad at myself because I said this exact thing to myself while I was on lunch break. But anyway. Uh, this video is more for the 3.8.4 update that's available. It's coming on the global side of Dokkan. So it's in the news, 3.8.4 update. Um, so essentially that gives us all gives us a whole bunch of new cards. Um, I guess it fixed some minor bugs and whatever. But we have the new Tournament of Power celebration that's here. And, which, and with that, we get the new Token Awakening for Ultra Instinct Goku and the Jiren. Now, um, I kind of want to summon on this just because I don't have most or all of these units that are on the banner. But let's go ahead and talk about it. So we have new login rewards, 12 stones in your box as soon as the uh, the daily comes in. So once you go in for your daily login bonuses, you're going to have 12 stones the first time you log in during this event. Uh, we have new mission rewards. Uh, we have dragon stones on sale. Buy three dragon stones for the price of one dragon stone once per day. I'm not a big fan of that. I only do it when it's five. Uh, 24 dragon stones at the price of 12, which I'll probably be doing those three. And then 32 dragon stones over 50% three times. I might do that. And then 91 dragon stones. We'll see if I go that that deep onto it. I don't really plan on going too hard, but it's the Goku Ultra Instinct and Jiren Dokkan Festival. I don't have either of them, so it would be nice to get them. Uh, it's a GSSR banner three plus one multi offer. So it looks like you're doing a guaranteed SSR per summon, and you get for every three multis, you get one multi for free. Um, so that's going to be going from 5.15 to 6.03. We have a long time to do that. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited for that. Um, I might actually put some stones in just because it's GSSR. We'll see how that goes. But I'm excited. I'm happy about that. That also means to me what I'm thinking is that the uh, Vegeta Blue Evolution should be the next one after this. Uh, just speculation. I have no official information on that, but that's just my speculation on the matter. Um, let's see, number five, new history event. Uh, five, so we have a new event that's coming out. I'll talk about that in a minute. Goku Ultra Instinct Dokkan's um, 5.15 that starts. So that's going to start in seven days, one week from now. Uh, Dokkan Festival, we have a, a, a specific festival per attribute type during the course of this whole celebration. Starting from 5.08, or 508, that's today, uh, once the login bonus happens, we're supposed to get the physical Dokkan Fest followed by the strength, the intelligence, the tech, the agility. Fortunately, there's no 120 leads on these. Um, there are there are a bunch of Dokkan Fest exclusives. If you don't have any of the older units, this might be good for you. But other than that, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to summon on them. I would pro I'm honestly going to tell you guys just to wait for the UI Goku banner if you don't have any of those units, especially for Jiren, because Jiren's pretty damn badass. Uh, 12 hidden potential stages will be open during those four days, so make sure you go in and make sure you do those potential orbs while they're available. Dragon Ball Super Universe Survival Saga Story event is here. Adventure of Gratitude, the Goku event is here the kid goku event bizarre rabbit mob is here which is i mean you know what it's a free unit it's a free to play unit he does stun and that's where you get the medals to doken waking your balmas so you know that's i guess that's good uh baba shop 30 percent discount and quest is triple xp so shout out to crusty leaks this is what's going on so i guess it's twitter.com forward slash crusty leaks which i have never followed or heard of until now sorry about that bro i just never heard of you before but that's awesome thank you for all the information um this is going to be the event for that that's coming out. That's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just a, a copy. Yeah, this is just from J, uh, Japan, the DBZ.space, but this is just the one that just came out on the uh, 
on the JP side of Dogon Battle. So we have that come incoming, so that's going to be awesome. Um, remember that when the Jiren event comes out, Jiren should be farmable if you pull him. He has a tech one from his event, so don't use Elder Kai's on him. Um, we also have the mission rewards, which is from the French version, by the way. Uh, these are the mission rewards. It doesn't look like anything too crazy. Some training uh, locations, a Dragonstone. Um, that's about it. Mission limited stuff. Hercule statues, awakening medals. I mean, there's nothing really too crazy here. Dragonstones really and potential orbs would be the only things that I'd be excited about. And you're not really, you're only getting, what, two Dragonstones total? I think you have a daily, so that's awesome. But, um, the daily Dragonstone might be the only thing. Um, this is the Jiren banner, as you all know from the last one. Uh, this is from the JP side, by the way. So if things remain the same, which they should, uh, it's Jiren, Kefla, UI Goku, 18, uh, Revive Frieza, uh, Kale, and Khalifla. Now, personally, I mean, I have these two, but I wouldn't mind getting all of them, uh, all their dupe pads unlocked. I don't have Revive Frieza. I think the 18's new. I don't have Ultra Instant Goku. I have Kefla, but I wouldn't mind some dupes of her, and obviously Jiren's new. So, um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be summoning. I just don't know how ham I'm gonna go on this. Maybe, uh, three, three rounds of multis. So that's eight multis total, so maybe two videos I'll do for you guys. It depends on what happens and who I pull. But, um, anyway, yeah, that's this. That's this one. Then we have the physical banner that's gonna be available. It's just the Broly, the Kid Boo, and Frieza. Don't get me wrong, all these guys are really good units. This is a very, a good support unit. Frieza is a staple on a mono, extreme physical team. Uh, and Broly, while he is not the most epic unit, he does do two guaranteed super, well, he does a one guaranteed super attack, um, as his passive on his, uh, on, oh, on his passive. So if you're launching a super, you get two supers out of him, and if you give him full dupe system, he's actually doing a lot of damage, which is pretty awesome. Uh, he got a lot of flex just because he was the only 70% lead without immense damage, which I think definitely makes it up for it, because he does double super attacks, guaranteed. And he's a physical, so he gets the additional on top of it, so he can do three super attacks, which I've had him do before. Um, overall, really good units. Um, it's, it's up to you if you want to summon on these guys. I don't really think you should. I think you should honestly just wait for the new festival, but it's up to you. Let me know if you guys are going to be summoning on any of these. Other ones going to be the Strength one. You have the OG Broly, uh, Omega Shenron, and the free uh, the Vegeta. Vegeta is the one that tanks. Omega Shenron is the 70% Strength leader. He also reduces enemies' attacks by 30%. And Broly's AoE when you doken him. Plus, he's the one who has the uh, Extreme Z Awakening, so keep that in mind. Um, the Intelligence one, you have the 7% Buhan lead, which is a staple for a Mono Intelligence Extreme. Same thing for the, Gen the Janemba. Obviously, Janemba um, is resistant against all types, so he has type advantage against everyone um, when the he is getting attacked. And Vegeta is just a 100% leader who's really good, and he, he, you can, I could say that he's still probably one of the best units that you can run on a Mono, on a mono Intelligence team um, and a Godly Power team, so... You have that. In terms of technique, Freeze is a tank. The 70% lead Gotenks is good for a mono team. Pain in the butt to try and get his super attack at Levin Key, but he is there. And I have all four dupe pads unlocked. He does do a lot of damage when he's 100% because mine's 100% it. And Zamasu, while he is still good, he doesn't get as much play as he used to. Uh, just because of all the new units that are out. The only thing that you're really going to get play with him is on a mono extreme... Um, villains team, assuming you have all the units, that, that, that's of course, that you have to take that into consideration. He is an extreme type leader, key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 70, I believe it was. Um, so he's good for that, uh, and he does link with Rosé. Unfortunately, he has this, uh, like, godly power link skill that the new Rosé does not have, so that doesn't really matter too much. But they good, they're good for key links, so keep that in mind as well, if you want to run them on a mono extreme team. Um, and then you have the agility banner with Super Vegito, obviously, is a staple. Uh, the Kamea, the Kaioken Goku... Uh, he's cool, the agility one, I think, like, base dupe system, it came out to be, like, equal damage to him, um, when, like, when they're both base or something like that, and then everything after that, the, the actual Super Saiyan Blue Goku is better every other way. Rose is still an amazing unit on Mono Extreme Team, uh, for agility, he's obviously replaced on Extreme Teams when you have the new Rose but he's still a really good, viable unit. So these are all the banners that are going to be coming out. Honestly, um, the only ones that I'm going to say are definitely you should really have on teams for team building. Um, if you don't have the physical Vegito, the agility one's really, really good. Plus, the agility one tanks better than the other Vegito. The other Vegito just does more damage output. So keep that in mind depending on what you want to do. Plus, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team, he's definitely a staple, and you could honestly really run the Rosé on that team as well. So um, honestly, the, the agility banner out of all these, I'm pretty sure the agility banner is going to be the best because you still see... And I'm also basing this off of the friend system because your friends are more likely to run a uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta than a Buhan. Um, because the next one I was going to say was the Buhan banner because Buhan, Janemba, and Vegeta are all very, very good units um, on, you know, for mono intelligence teams, obviously. Uh, they all have replacements except for Buhan. Uh, Vegeta can be replaced with other units, but obviously he's probably going to be the best one. But still, 
Um, that's probably gonna be your best bet. Uh, the, the, the strength one is gonna be, like, number three, in my opinion, for what you should summon on if you're gonna rank the five of them. Uh, just because Omega is still really good for a mono extreme, uh, a strength team. Vegeta's a staple in so many strength teams, depending on what you're going up against, just because he tanks everything. And Broly's a great AoE with his Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, he can be really good in the World Tournament if you're a World Tournament player, or if you just need an AoE for grinding stupid events, you have to go up against five enemies. Um, outside of that, the physical one, uh, the, the Freeze is definitely a staple on a Monokora team. Outside of that, I mean... You don't need him for anything really else. Uh, mine's 100 percent it, so I definitely use him. Uh, the Boo is a really good support unit, but, I mean, you don't need him. He's really good for support, but it's like an HP is 80% or above. You need to keep your HP over 80% for that 50% passive to come into play for all of your units. So, eh. Uh, up to you on what you want to do with him. And the last one, I think I think actually he was the last one. Oh, no, the last one would be this tech team. Uh, just because uh, while they are really good, uh, most people are not running this Amasu on the team anymore. Uh, the Gotenks is only really good for his specific Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku team. Uh, just because he has the replacement of the physical one. And the Tech Frieza is only going to be really run. Um, actually, he's run on a lot of teams. He's really good on a revival team, so I guess he does have his place there. Uh, he links very well with the revived intelligence Frieza, because uh, that's Angel Frieza, and this is not Angel Frieza, so he will tank very well. So I guess that's the only one that uh, I guess can say he's technically in meta. Um, but honestly, they're all really good units. Every single one of these banners has good cards, so don't let me deter you if you want one of them. But anyway, guys, that's for the global side. Real quick, on the JP side, uh, the Kamehameha Family Easy A is Extreme Z Awakening is now live. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of them when you do it. I will not be doing that myself. I'll be waiting for it to come out on global. But until then, let me know what you guys think about it. I think it, I, it's cool. I went over it the other day. So if you want to go check out that video, go ahead and check it out. Um, and we have the Sun Family, so this is the Kamehameha login campaign. You have login bonus, 42 Dragon Stones over the next three days. Wow, that's actually really awesome. I didn't read that before. Um, Easy A obviously starts 17 hours, and that was from one day ago, so it should be live. Family Kamehameha Gotcha SSR, login bonuses for three movie roles, um, so that's cool. Uh, only confirmed units you get are the Family Kamehameha units. If there are extra ones, it will be known in 17 hours. Okay, so yeah, um, that's all available. That's all live now, so if you want to go do the, extreme, the Family Kamehameha stuff, go ahead and do that now on the JP side. But anyway, guys, that's it for the news. Um, I will be doing a weekly grind video tomorrow. I'm going out. I got to go change the chain of my motorcycle. I got to vacuum out my car and... Once that's done, I'm probably just going to take my bike around, breaking the new chain, make sure I replace the right, because it's the first time I'm doing that, and uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Anyway, guys, thank you. I'll catch you all later. Have a good one. Peace.